Law of Diminishing Returns. I think you are really close with the $100 price point. For Dynamics, I think $100 is exactly right. Because at that price point, you have the SM58, the SM57, the SE Electronics, SE V7, the, the Sennheiser E835, all amazing microphones that different people like the tone of more. I think those are all great. And if you were to upgrade to a Procaster, you could be getting a benefit. The Procaster has insane background noise rejection. If that is something that is plaguing your live stream for spoken word, it could potentially be an upgrade. But if you're just looking at the tone of the microphones, chances are going from 100 to 200 or 100 to 500, your audience most likely is not going to know the difference or be able to discern the difference. So it really is the law of diminishing returns. It is marginal improvements over 100 bucks on the dynamic microphone side. Then for condenser microphones, I was on the verge of saying $100 is exactly right, but I am sticking with where I was originally going to say. Between $300 and $400 is where the law of diminishing returns really kicks in. The reason I say that Around that price point, you have the SE4400A, which is a, a wow microphone. Listening to that thing is insane. The Sennheiser MK4, the Rode NT1, the CAD E100S, those are all incredible condenser microphones, and they could very easily be the last microphone you buy, assuming you don't need to switch out microphones a lot. That could very easily be the last microphone you buy, and going above that, it's marginal, very marginal improvements at best. I'm currently using the U87. If I switched to the SE4400A or the CAD E100S, I can guarantee you there would be people saying, that sounds better on you. That sounds better on you. This is just not a good microphone for you. The reason I was thinking about switching to $100 is because of the neat King Bee. I just did a review of that thing, and it is insane for the price. But that was originally a $350 microphone, and I don't think that other $100 mics are very comparable in quality to it. So I am marking that as an outlier. That is not the new standard for $100 microphones. If you get the neat King Bee, you're getting a stellar microphone, and... You could upgrade to a $300 to $400 microphone, get different character, but it's not going to be a huge jump up from there. But if you jump from an AT2020, which is another $100 microphone, to the 4400A or the CAD E100S, the differences to my ears are pretty drastic. I hope that helps. That was a great question. I love talking about this stuff. I guess I should include one last disclaimer. Most of your audience doesn't care as long as your audio is tolerable. I could be using the AT2020 because I have a well-treated room and most people would not care. I doubt I would get a comment saying, oh my God, that microphone sounds so bad. Ah! And then the person dies. <laughs> what? I highly doubt I would get an email like that. They would, they would just listen to it. As long as the content is good, they'll listen to it. As long as the audio is not a distraction, they will listen to it. That's my take on it. Thank you so much, Ivan. Thank you so much, Pablo. Thank you so much, Tim the Mike Vale Finder. I appreciate